Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I honestly didn't really know what I wanted to film today, but I know I wanted to do a hair video because I was going to do my hair. I actually seen a lot of comments and like DMs of people asking me what my hair looked like without um, me using my typical Demon brush or any styling brush. So today I'm going to be styling my curls without using any brush, only to detangle of course so I don't have any like stragglers or anything like that. Um, but I am not going to be using a Demon brush, I'm just going to be using my fingers, I'm going to be breaking the product through my hair and we're going to see how everything turns out, what my natural curl pattern is like. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in detail. I already shampooed, conditioned, and deep conditioned my hair. Let me just section it off real quick before showing you guys what products I actually used. Okay, so in the shower today, I used some Jessie Curls product. I have the hair cleansing cream, which is right here. It has a great consistency. It's a cleansing cream, kind of like a co-wash, but I feel like it leans more towards a shampoo because it does like bubble up and like lather up like a shampoo. And it leaves my hair feel, feeling a little bit stripped, more stripped than actual co-wash would use. But I like it on days that I don't want a shampoo, but I want something a little bit richer than a co-wash that's going to really clean my hair so this is what i have been using and i actually like it i don't really like how my hair feels right after i do have to go in with a conditioner but overall for cleaning purposes i do like this co-wash cleansing conditioner and then for conditioning i followed up with a touche extra moisturizing conditioner from jesse curl as well i use this one because it is very rich very hydrating very creamy and it kind of fulfills what the cleansing co-wash takes away this like just brings back that life into my hair and it's easy for me to detangle and it is very very moisturizing so that was a little combo that i did in the shower of course you guys know i do not skip out on deep conditioning so today i use the sotanicals afrotastic curl elastic deep conditioning treatment this stuff is amazing it works really well on my hair it is very hydrating and i have the big one and i've been using this for quite some time i had it sitting on the shelf for some time um, and then I saw it today and I was like, ooh, well, let's try this one. So I've used it a couple of times, very hydrating, leaves my hair feeling very soft and strengthened because it does have a little bit of protein in there. So I really did like the Afrotastic. So yesterday I went to Walmart because I was on the hunt for this new main choice gel that I have been seeing on Instagram been seeing on YouTube and I really, really wanted to try it. And if you guys have not seen it, this is the new Main Choice Cheers collection, and is it is the soup the the little I can't even talk right now. It is the Supreme Strength and Full Protection Gelato, brewed to perfection, and it's infused with bi with bi I can't talk right now. And it's infused with biotin, vitamin B2, B3, and B6. So I really wanted to try this gel. I was on a hunt for it. I've been looking for it for over a month. And I was like, I really need to try this gel. Because based on the reviews I saw, it looks like it's a really strong whole gel. And the humidity of these last few days has been ridiculous so I wanted to try this gel out to see if it's gonna give me hold the only thing I'm concerned about is because I'm not using a brush usually my hair frizzes up faster and my curls don't last that as long so that's usually why I use a brush and I've mentioned that in a couple other videos as to why I like to style my hair with a brush but I really did want to try this gel anyway and I'm gonna see how it works on my hair without using any brush and styling my hair without a brush so that's what I'm going to be using today. I never use just one product, of course. I like to layer my products because I like my hair to be as moisturized as possible. So I was actually debating between using for the OG Shea Moisture Jamaica Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. This was one of my holy girl conditioners back in the day when I was transitioning. I would always add this in my routine. I have a new one right here, so I kind of want to use it. But then I also found this one as well, the Camille Rose Natural Coconut Water Leave-In Detangling Hair Treatment. Never used this in my life before. I have a couple of them sitting on my shelf. So I'm like, hmm, which one should I use? But I don't. I really don't know. And I don't want to use two leave-ins because I think that's completely unnecessary. As much as I want to try this one out, I think I'm going to go in with the leave-in conditioner from Shea just because I know it's going to be a hydrating deep conditioner and I don't have a styling product to layer on top 
So I think I'm going to play safe with using this and the gelato. Yeah. And it has slip, so... Okay, I think that's what we're going to do. <laughs> so I'm going to use this leave-in conditioner. It is brand spanking new. I didn't have one open, which... I was surprised. And I was like, damn. So I'm going to take some of this. Ooh, that's a lot. For this section right here. I did not film this week's Mask Monday. And I actually have not been filming the Mask Monday videos. Just because I don't know how you guys feel about it. So if you still want me to continue to do Mask Monday videos. Just let me know in the comments down below in this video. If you actually enjoy watching my Mask Mondays. Because if not, like, I'll just use Mondays for something else. The reason why I started my Mask Monday videos is because I always wanted to encourage you guys to deep condition your hair at least once a week because it makes such a difference in your hair. So let me know if you guys still want me to do that because, I mean, I deep condition on a regular day basis anyway. It's just filming to remind you guys and show you guys what are some of my favorite deep conditioners. So if you guys want to see that, please let me know in the comments down below. All right, so now we have the gel. It smells interesting. I don't know. It smells kind of like a sweet and fruity smell. Um, yeah. So let's see. It says that it's supposed to smooth hair and locks in desired style. It strengthens, it protects, and imparts a radiant shine. It has rice protein, volumizes while providing softness. It has vitamin E, which moisturizes the hair and tames frizz. It improves the hair's overall integrity and elasticity, and it's gentle enough for daily use. So I think my hair is pretty saturated. All right, so let's go on with some gel. I really want to, ooh, so it has a nice, like, jelly-like consistency, kind of like Main Choice's gel. So that doesn't surprise me there. It feels really thick, though. So let's see. So I applied a generous amount of the gel and I'm just going to kind of do like the rake and shake method, but not really. Maybe just like, well, I don't even know what I'm doing. It feels so weird not using a brush. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, so I'm just gonna squeeze in this area. I'm so tempted to finger coil right now. <laughs> I'm so tempted. So this is what I've been doing. Usually before, um, I used to wash my hair, style my hair, don't scrunch with a t-shirt until the very end, and then go into diffusing. So what I've been doing now is that I scrunch my hair first with my hands, like you guys just saw. I just scrunch it first with my hands, you can see all the excess products that comes out and water. And I go in right right away, right after, with a cotton t-shirt and I just kind of like scrunch it. Not too much, just one time because I don't want it to get frizzy because I am going to scrunch it once everything is already together. But I've noticed that my drying process has literally been cut down tremendously. So like instead of lasting 45 minutes diffusing, I'll last between 27 to 35 minutes which is like a big deal for me because diffusing was my least favorite part of wash day i hated diffusing i love to see the transformation of the curls but i hate diffusing for hours like i'm like oh why does this take so long
So this is what my curls are looking like right now. I don't have as many ringlets as I would if I used the Demon brush. And I do have a more stringier curl. So if you can tell, there's like not clumped curls at all. Like not much clump curls. They're all pretty individually curling on their own. And there's a lot of them curling in like different directions. So that's pretty cool. There is of course some more elongation. I have my curls looking longer than how I usually would wear them. Already, so far, I feel a cast forming on my hair, which is a good thing. I was going to put some more gel in my hair now that it's like damp, but I was like, you know what, let me not overdo it because then if my hair is like super crunchy, then that's like a no-no. So I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse my hair. I was thinking about wet plopping for a little bit while I made some lunch. But I don't know, let's see. Maybe I'll wet plop for like 10 minutes while I make like a quick lunch and then I'll go into diffusing and then we'll be right back to show you guys the final results of what my hair looks like without using my go-to Denman brush. This is what my hair looks like. Now I haven't fluffed it out, I haven't scrunched out the crunch. I just wet plop for a few while I was making my lunch and then I diffused in my hair. Now before scrunching out the crunch, there is a slight cast, nothing crazy for it being a so-called stronghold gel. I did bring out the Eden Body Works Hibiscus Honey Liquid Hair Vitamin and this stuff smells really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead, spritz that all throughout my hair and then I'm going to scrunch out my hair and just give it some volume. Now this is not like your regular oil, this is not considered an oil, it's like a liquid vitamin. And it's just supposed to bring your curls to life. So I'm just going to spray this around generously. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of actual oil. And I didn't want to use sultanicals because I'm always using sultanicals. I feel like you guys are sick and tired of me talking about sultanicals. But I literally love sultanicals. So I'm going to be using their Kink Sink Intense Moisture Sealant Oil. And this is really going to help me scrunch out the crunch. Give my hair some volume and help with the separating. Because I didn't use the brush, um, I don't really have much clumped curls. As you can see, like they're pretty stringy. This is what my hair looks like. These are the final results. I kind of fluffed out my hair a little bit. Um, I really went in with the separating because I didn't like how my hair looked a couple seconds ago. Um, so I like it now. I'm rocking the middle part, which is something new I've been doing since my hair has been growing. And I actually like the way the wash and go ended up being. By the looks of it, I can tell it's not gonna last that long as it would if I would have used the brush. I feel like I've said this before, but it's not gonna last that long. The gel, I think, would work better if I were to use my brush. Um, I think it would just give me more hold. I feel like my curls have too much freedom right now, which is a good look. I like the look, but I think it's only gonna be good for like two days, max. You know, my curls are free. They get to do whatever they want, but I prefer a more uniformed and tamed look. I feel like my curls need direction on how to stay so that they can last throughout the entire week. So yeah, I think that's like my overall thoughts and this is just the overall look of how my hair looks like without a brush. I have elongation for sure, much more than I would have when I use a brush, which I like because again, it's a different look. It's a very free, blowy, airy look. It's not heavy, it's not weighed down at all. I did go in uh, pretty generously with this oil, so it really help break out the cast. They are defined, they are very ringlety, and they also have the S curls as well. I like it, it's not bad, but I still do prefer my Denman brush, or even now finger coil, which I have been liking as well. So that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below 
what do you prefer to style your hair do you like more defined curls by using a diamond brush or do you like a more airier or just let your natural curls do its thing by using just your fingers let me know in the comments down below because I am very curious to figure out what you guys are gonna say so I'll see you guys in my next video and if you're not following me on Instagram my Instagram is at Chelly's curls so go ahead and follow me on there if you want to so we can stay connected and be curl friends and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.